see differently now on the field as a you know, as a more experienced guy? Um, I would say I have to uh, have to say the the speed of the game. Um, just just from learning from the guys ahead of me, um, the older guys as they came in and you know left what they've learned, um, and being able to break a lot of the offenses down and the tendencies. So just kind of like the speed, I guess. What? How much does it help having so many other guys that are that are veterans around you? It helps a lot because uh, I'm not much of a talkative guy to be the one to, you know, uh, you know, to yell at guys only if I need to. Um, but it's good to have you know guys like Malcolm and vocal leaders like Colby and um, even guys in the D line like Tyler Lacey and Brendan Rivers. It's good to have those guys around those vocalizing um, energy because we always need that. So yeah. There's, there's depth for you guys across the, the defensive line to, to know that in the same way that maybe Mike Gundy talked about the running backs who can stay fresh. Is, is there an element of that on the D-line too when you just got so many guys who can come in and, and take snaps? Yeah, it, it actually gives me comfort because, you know, when I come off the field, I'm not um, sitting the, sitting on the sideline um, getting ready to go. Um, like, it's okay, I got two more plays, I got to go. But it's good to know that, you know, when the person behind me or in front of me, whatever it is, is going inside, then uh, – Gives you comfort to want to um, cheer them on and you know just uh, get you ready for the next um, round when you go back in. So that's a huge element for our defense, especially the D line because it does start up front. I imagine you've had a couple of run-ins with Danny Gudlewski, new guy. What, what's he been like to, to go up against in practice? Man, he's 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 a he's a really good football player. The thing about him, he's he's just very consistent. You know that's that's a, that's a huge thing about him. Uh, he comes out like every day and just works and so. You know, you always got to bring your A game with Danny because um, he, he's he's going to give it to you every day. So he, he makes me better as a football player. Um, but yeah, he's he's going to be really good for an offensive front. You guys on the defensive edge that dealt with injury late last season, missed some of spring. How how those guys coming back from help uh, from uh, injury look help wise? Oh man, it's going to help us big. Like you know, there's there's a lot of guys. You know, even myself uh, was fighting injuries. Um, uh, like a like. Uh, our friend over here asked about the depth. Um, we always have a guy ready to go, and so that's the good thing about that. Um, but we we love expecting the guys that do get hurt to return back. It just gives us more energy and more uh, um, power to our, our defensive front. What does it mean to have James Jernick back? Oh man, it's huge. Uh, yeah, he it was it was good to see him. Um, um, you just wait, cause uh, he he's definitely learned a lot in the year where he you know wasn't playing at all, and so he he took that year. Um, as a, a year of reflection. So he's just expect big things for him um, uh, come this year. Personality-wise, how big of a boost is he too? Uh, man, if, I wish you guys were out there to hear him. Like, y'all had a mic on him, like, choose him. Because, like, he always has something to say. Like, he always has something funny to say to keep the energy going during practice, especially when it's hot. Um, but if you guys want to mic a guy up, like, he's, he's the guy to mic up. You guys play an unusual position for a freshman to play. You usually have to, you know, develop a little more. How... I guess unique is it that Jaden was able to contribute as a freshman whenever he did. Um, it was big. I I, I came in as a as a uh, as a junior uh, when I came from the junior college, and we came in together, and I was with him every day, just learning from him, and um, uh, it was huge. Like I, it was good to like to learn from him because he he came in ready, and like he he does that with the whole D line. Like he he came in as a leader, and uh, we needed him, uh, especially as a freshman. Um, no one expected that from him, but. He stepped up big time and he came in ready, and um, we're just glad that he's back. And, and my coach Gundy mentioned that Jaden has kind of he's shaved off some pounds and, and looks a little different than he did the last time he was on the field. How has he looked uh, in camp? Oh man, yeah, I, yeah, he's he, if you if you look at his jersey, man, it's it's a little loose. I keep telling him, man, I keep trying to feed him some Polynesian food to get him back to to what he he used to look like, but. Um, he keeps he keeps denying me, but he he's he is looking good and did lose a couple pounds, um, but yeah. Are you cooking this Polynesian food? Yeah, if, you're, if you want to come over, <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll come over. <laughs> <laughs> what what are your what do you like to cook Polynesian wise? I don't know I've had much, so I'm just curious. Um, the biggest we we love our meats, so like you know it could be lamb or like chicken, um, and just just a bunch of seasoning too. That's that's just like the kind of like the love to it, and then we always got to have it with rice or something, and then. Like a taro root, um, something on the side also as well to eat it with it. That's why we're so big, um, <laughs> thick. But yeah, Are you yeah you just let me long? know. 
Are you making for a lot of your teammates? Do you cook for a lot for guys or just only some, man? If I if I cook too like too much, then like it will taste a little weird. So okay. so I keep it in small batches and it will be perfect. Is that kind of a? It seems like you guys bring in a Polynesian player just about every class. Is that kind of like a, a home away from home type feel um, within within you guys? Yeah, yeah, it's it's really good. We have a uh, Benny here. Um, he was uh, he was kind of like um, the pipeline here to to come here to Oklahoma State. He's the one that reached out to me. Um, and so he 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 had a he has a big part in like keeping us you know making us feel at home, um, especially if we're way far away because you know most of us come from the West Coast, and so Benny Benny Tong has been a really big help in that um, in making us feel at home. But yeah, how exciting is those you know, the magical term full capacity? Man, we're excited. Man, there's a lot of new guys. Man, I just keep um, I just tell them just wait, man. Like just wait till you run up that tunnel. Um, Last year, you know, our, our 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 fans did really good. You know, they they made it feel like it was full full capacity, um, but um, there's there's gonna be a huge difference, and so we we can't wait. And I know that everyone's excited for 